Bhagavad Gita, verse 2.13. Just as the embodied soul gradually passes within this gross physical body from boyhood to youth and to old age, similarly, the soul receives another body at death. An intelligent person is not bewildered by the destruction and rebirth of the body. Sar Ardavashini The following points may be raised. Since the soul is associated with the body, the body will also be an object of our love. Furthermore, those who are related to the body, such as sons, brothers, relatives and grandsons, will also be the objects of our love. When they die, therefore, we will certainly feel grief. Sri Bhagavan speaks this verse beginning with Dehinaha in answer to this. The soul, Atma, within the body, attains boyhood. At the end of boyhood, he attains youth. And at the end of youth, he enters old age. Similarly, upon losing his body, he attains another body. One does not grieve at the close of boyhood and youth, which are objects of our love due to their relationship with the Atma. Therefore, one should not grieve for the loss of the body itself, which is also an object of love due to its relationship with the Atma. A person laments when he passes from youth into old age, yet he feels happy when he passes from boyhood to youth. You should feel happy because when Bhishma and Drona lose their old bodies, they will attain new ones. Or you should consider that just as the body grows and attains various stages, the same jiva also attains different types of bodies. Sar Ardavarshini Prakashika Riti The word Dihi means the soul or jiva, which is unchangeable. The body, however, is subject to transformation. Even when the body undergoes changes from boyhood to youth to old age and finally death, the embodied soul does not undergo any change. It remains ever the same. Therefore, it is not proper to lament for the loss of the body. Just as when one advances from boyhood to youth, one feels happiness instead of grief. Similarly, after death, one attains a new, able and beautiful body. Why then should one feel distress? Rather, one should only feel happiness. King Yayati became old in his youth because he was cursed by his father-in-law, Shukracharya. In great distress, he humbly begged forgiveness at the feet of Shukracharya. To please his daughter, who was married to the king, Shukracharya gave him the ban that he could exchange his old age for the youth of any of his young sons. His eldest son, Yadhu, refused, because he wanted to worship the Lord. But his youngest son, Puru, gave his youth and accepted the old age of his father. In this way, Yayati again became young and enjoyed with his queens, Devayani and others. In the company of his sons and grandsons, he considered himself very happy. Finally, however, he understood that all these pleasures were temporary and the cause of unlimited misery. He returned his son's youth to him and went to the forest to perform internal worship, bhajan of Bhagavan, Srimad Bhagavatam 9.18.1-51. Therefore, at the loss of an old, weak, and withered body, it is appropriate to feel happy knowing 
that a healthy, strong and beautiful new body will soon be obtained.